Welcome back to Project Brewpeg. We are getting our motor into the boat and this is what we were faced with the morning we cut the top of the roof open. The power actually went out and the guys had to sort that out before we could continue for the day. This episode we get the motor in. Are they checking whether it's blown or not? Yeah, it is blown, pretty sure. So it was um, blown at the thing? It's blown at the thing, yeah. So you're just waiting for the batteries to fill up a bit? They're on zero right now, but we've got 60 amps going in, so it'll... Let's have a little look-see. Yeah, so you got... Oh, actually, right. if I just do that, you'll be able to see them better, so... So we've got zero state of charge is zero. We've got... The voltage is 26 volts. We've got 60 amps going in, or that much watts, 100 and, 1,600 watts. And then we, we used 249 amp hours of, out of the batteries just before, when, before it blew. But, we'll go back... Yeah, so you, and you can see obviously there's no solar or anything right now. The solar's, the state of charge on the solar controllers are all turned off because there's nothing coming through. Okay, you gotta look at this. Yeah, <laughs> We've taken a sunken fishing trawler and converted her to a community funded expedition and research boat crewed by volunteers from around the world. Because life's too short not to fight for your dream. Are you hungry, baby? I feed you in one sec. This is uh, Dana's prepared my smoothie for me. It's morning, the morning of the motor going in. Uh, the guys worked really hard yesterday. Um, we've got everything done. Uh, place is a mess, <laughs> as usual. Dana's been in there doing a wee bit of admin this morning. Uh, Surprise. Uh, Burke's still sleeping. He sleeps in most mornings till 7, 7.30. Uh, that's just his his system. Um, a bit of a night owl. Here he is. There's a parts avalanche. Yeah, downstairs. We piled all the tools up down there. <laughs> and now I tried climbing over them and they're kind of starting to shift. So <laughs> we've got tectonic movement in the parts stratification. It's part of a job this morning, isn't it? It's sorting out the clear everything out. Yeah. So Unpig's diet. <laughs> Roof is this is what it was like last night. We had a little skylight. So I'm still trying to convince Damon we need. Um yeah you can see the carpets are outside. Kate's still hungry. We sat down and watched some tally together last night. Uh, we've been watching a series together um, for rest in the evening. Uh, it's overcast again. So it's actually brilliant. As long as it's not raining, you're not heavy, it's fine. So, uh, the guys have got a few jobs to get done this morning. Duncan's just text is on his way. We've got the jug on and it's hot ready to make a coffee for him. Uh, Trevor's due here in about an hour and we'll be into it. And motor will be in by lunchtime today. Whew. It's a good step. It's a good step. Duncan's almost here. So I'm um, on coffee duty. Yeah. It may not function without coffee. <laughs> it's been a, a long week actually. We've paced it really well. We normally push a little bit. We've been pacing, but it's still push. And we're pretty tired, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. You did a lot, and he's glowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Um. Next next stop is um. The job this morning and then the motor going in. Should enjoy the fruits of life
So the plan this morning is get everything in this engine room tidy away. So we've got welders, tools, a whole bunch of stuff, vacuum cleaners, oil pumps, all of that's just randomly laying around here. We're going to clear this area out so it's spotless so we can't trip over anything. Um, the plan is, first up, the little Kubota in the corner over there. Um, that's going to get lifted out as the very first thing probably. That that's going to become a shelf for all of our um, welders and, and other bigger equipment for, for right now. Eventually it won't, it'll be an air compressor over there, but um, yeah, that's got to be one of the things we clear out early on. Thank you for watching Brewpeg's progress. It's a real privilege for us to be able to share this project with you and we're incredibly grateful to have you with us. If you want to see this project come to fruition and you believe in our mission to donate sea time to researchers, studies, documentaries, expeditions and community projects such as disaster recovery in the South Pacific and getting vets out onto the water, then please consider becoming a Patreon of Brewpeg. Right now Brewpeg has 385 Patreons who are the lifeblood of this project. Will you help us get to our goal of 400? There's a link in the description below. Thank you so much. So Dunk's taken off the last of the bolts holding this thing on. The engine mounts bolt straight through the fiberglass box and into the stainless underneath. So it's held on pretty firmly, but that's coming off in order to be a shelf for the bigger stuff like that. You'll notice in this project, some things that we start, we don't finish, some things we change out, we upgrade as we can. It's because of funds, it's because of priorities, it's because of health pressures, all sorts of things in the background that makes us to make the decisions we do. And although we've had a few stops and starts getting launched, this is a huge step in the right direction. You're on this running as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's neat, eh? Way, way too bright outside. Yeah. <laughs> Becoming a permanent picture. Yeah, that's my plan. <laughs> uh, right, so that one, that one. It's already on the lowest. Uh, yeah, the hinges on it, it's just yeah, so it's opened up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. yeah. Towards the front. Yeah. The oh, imagine the yeah, airflow. Oh. It's funny if you look at it. <laughs> yeah, air protects is completely overexposed. But the hole. This is the original front engine mount that I built years ago for the old engine. We're going to modify this to suit the new engine. This is our get home motor. It's a 30 kilowatt, three phase, 415 volt electric motor that will power Brewpeg at around five knots using our 50 kilowatt genset when that finally gets put into the boat. And this is so that if the main gearbox or engine ever stops, we've got another form of propulsion to get us home.
It's not really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Worst ergonomic chair design ever. Yes. Yes. When does it tell you it's going to do it? <laughs> this is awesome. We've got dark glasses on in here. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> awesome for a picture. Yeah. So good. Yeah. I think we just <laughs> put them off. Put them off. <laughs> All right, everyone, look at the camera. Awesome. Thank you. Look at who's coming. Uh, look at who's coming. Yeah, hey, come to Mel. We're serious. Okay, We've got Barry coming up behind us with a camera <laughs> and a boom. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So the guys have just measured the height of the um, engine. Uh, we're pretty confident that there's going to be no issue spinning it around. We've never done it with a gearbox before, so that's the, the, the variable we don't know about. We've put the motor in and out a couple of times by doing this method. Not this one, the old not, one. Not this one, same style motor, so we know it fits. But we don't know, with this gearbox, the bigger the gearbox than we've ever had before, we don't necessarily know if we can do it as one piece. We may have to unbolt the gearbox, um, but we're going to give it a go. This evening, when I heard music echo through the night, the same old songs that I heard the night before, so I started running so I wouldn't be too late.
like being your camera. <laughs> So we need to do a few modifications because the mounts don't fit um, and there's a wee bit of a gap between there and the prop shaft but the engine's in we can do the rest of the tweaking with chain blocks and wedges and moving it around like we normally do at the front here we've got to modify our original mount to suit this engine but we have the engine in the boat The motor now. Yeah. Yeah, where's that one gonna go? Just we're just gonna check the side up, we'll chain block it around the yeah. back and right. then dump it in. Same cable. Oh cable size. So we start on yeah, right. Actually, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right. Next lift should be pretty straightforward. We're just gonna pick this guy up, stick it in the engine room. So I think the guys are just gonna bring the crane over now get it up and then we'll put it beside the Cummins. Once this is in the engine room we can then start just manoeuvring it with chain blocks, same with the main engine. The crane is never a precise lift for what we need, we always just put it in on blocks or wherever we need to go and then we fine tune and tweak using a chain block at each end of the engine. And now we need to go and get the solar we do. which has just arrived. Now we need to get on to the next project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everything at once. Yeah. You got ice like sky. If smart good. More on this next episode. Thanks everyone for watching and a big thank you to everyone who donated to get us this gorgeous motor, the Billy McConnell. A huge thanks to everyone who signed up to be a Patreon. And thanks Duncan and Trevor and our lovely crew, you've made it an amazing couple of weeks. <laughs>